Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon, and welcome to the Chevrolet display at SEMA. This is our garage bay area. There's four bays over on this side of the display. We've got a crate powertrain, we've got Camaro parts, Sonic accessories, and a build-your-own engine display. And I'm going to walk you through all four of these garage bay areas. We're going to talk to some of our experts that are manning the booth, so to speak. Uh, and it's going to start right here with this very interesting display. Last year, Chevrolet Performance came out with a concept of not just a crate engine, but the engine, the transmission, and the harness, the controller to make it all run together in one package. This year, we've added the emissions compliance part of it, the E-Rod crate powertrain package. And here to tell you a little bit more about it, my good buddy Cliff Cohen. Cliff, you, what a lineup we've got over here. What's going on in this, well, in this bay? Well, what you're looking at is, as Jamie said, this is a Connect and Cruise package with the E-Rod kind of option on it. Um, Connect and Cruise is simply exactly what it sounds like. It's, it's a package that can complete installation, engine, transmission, controllers, computers, harnesses, um, virtually everything an enthusiast would need to drop in the vehicle, add fuel to it, and add some uh, spark to it, and you're ready to roll. Uh, it comes in a number of different configurations. We've got a 5.3, which we have here, two-wheel, four-wheel drive combination, uh, whatever you might need. That's 500 or 400, 330 horse, and I've got a 6.2 liter, which is 430 horse, and the king of them all, an LSA at 550 horse. So what you're looking at is brand new GM production stuff all the way through from the factory, nothing in it that's used, remanned, or reclaimed, a two-year, 50,000-mile warranty available at any Chevrolet Performance dealer, uh, and it's one part number is all you need to remember. You can find it in our 2013 catalog, and it's, as the name says, Connect and Cruise, and my buddy Blake is going to show you here how simple that is. A number of different connectors, and again, put fuel and spark to it, and you're going down the road. Well, great, man. Well, well Blake, uh, you're the lead engineer on this program. You know, you've had your hands in uh, all of this. You know, everybody wants to put an LS engine in their project car. It's the hottest engine in the industry. They want a Chevrolet Performance LS crate engine. Your engineering team has really made it simple. Engine, transmission, the harness controller, how have we done this? Absolutely simple is correct. Everything is plug and play. Everything is labeled, Jamie. You, you just plug it right into the proper sensors. These are all production connections. They're all weatherproof. Just what we use on the production line. You just plug them right in. The only thing you got to hook up is power and ground, which you forgot, which well, is Blake, very key. Like you just did that one-handed. Come on. Is that easy? <laughs> oh, yeah. Absolutely. And every, everything's labeled. So what's that sensor? That's the map sensor. It's, it's really easy. Not hard to do at all. I did this one myself. The video's playing there. Uh, we'll plug in the oil pressure sensor here, just as an example. All, all the secondary locks are there, just like we use in production. And a uh, little power in ground, and, and uh, she's ready to go. So, Blake, I mean, once again, they get an engine that's brand new with the transmission, the attachment kit to put it together, and we do a custom harness. And again, you showed it's got the labels and everything plugs right into the factory sensors. It's that easy? It's that easy, absolutely. And the trans side, you don't even have to put power in ground to that. It comes right through the engine harness. The trans connection is literally three connections, and it's ready to go. All from Chevrolet. It, it's an incredible portfolio. Blake, and you're going to be here all day uh, answering any tech questions that folks have. All week. All right, folks. Well, that's a look at Garage Bay number one. Check out the crate powertrain. Thank you, Cliff. Great job over here, guys.